hello friend in this video i'm going to tell that how to write the summary or the conclusion of your tall chapter my supervisor usually told me that uh, don't write the conclusion at the end of third chapter just write the summary i don't know what is the rationale behind that so this is briefly i explain that the difference between the introduction and the summary or the conclusion is that you use some different terminologies here particularly in these chapters so in the conclusion and the summary you eat some uh, additional materials however in introduction you just give a small brief for you so i explain that in uh, in the materials and method chapter you need to explain the various methods you use and the characterization you used but i just want to mention that you must need to add one or two paragraph uh, sentences one or two sentences to tell the reader that how you prepare your sample for that particular characterization like xrd if you are doing xrd or sim acm uh, analysis so you must need to tell the reader that how you prepare your sample so this is the summary about the chapter so let's see in summary chapter 3 discuss the methods such as hydrothermal and electro spinning again we say that we use the two methods hydrothermal and uh, electro spinning and we the purpose is to synthesize various pure and composite SNO2 nanostructures such as these three nanoparticles nanospheres and nanofibers and there we just change the tone of our language the the sentence structure the the way to uh, uh, express there are surfaces so per surfaces we say that we use these two characterization sem or tm per surfaces and for chemical nature uh, we say that we use these uh, two methods to and for optical for optical purpose we use uv vis ultraviolet visible and near infrared characterizations you see we just change the uh, tone of our language then we say that the synthesized material were then implied is a working electrode material per disensitized solar cell you see when we synthesize when we synthesize we just synthesize here you see here first we synthesize and we also characterized you see we say that we use these mediation then what is the what do we need to do now next step we need to use uh, these material in the in the working electrode per disensitized solar cell and further what we want to tell that procedure for fabricate disentire solar cell and the calculation of the various photovoltaic parameters are discussed in this chapter finally possible error during cell manufacture measurements and routes to overcome these errors are highlighted and then we also highlighted this uh, error you see here equilibrium conditions these are the errors these various are errors here so we also you see here possible errors so this means that you must need to write the whole uh, story of your uh, uh, tell chapter again uh, but different than the introduction here you need to use some different wording different uh, sentences attacks on the sentence through different way reverse the sentence and use some uh, synonyms or those kind of stuff to change the tone of your language to change the language and to come through a different direction and different way and use some different wording so that will look like different than your introduction and use some uh, story type things in the summary okay so thanks for watching